Hello again. First video I've done for a while. This one's pretty much just playing around with my pad 007 using the um, laser as a rangefinder. So just doing a little bit of experimenting here. So I've actually set it to 10 meters. So moving out to 15 meters here, it's like one mil dot low. So move out to 20 meters, it's about one and a half mil dots low. And 25 meters is about one and three quarters mil dots, and 30 meters is two mil dots. So just experimenting really, just to see if you can actually use the laser as a rangefinder. And I think to be fair, you can. It's just a matter of, of knowing the dots where it is. Um, obviously there, I went a little bit closer there, see if it went high and it did. So I know if it goes above the crosshairs, it's too close. That's my scope only zero, it'll only focus to 15 meters or 15 yards. But I've almost got it down to 10 meters. This is a bit of fettling. So my next um, rat shoot will actually be using my spring powered air rifle with a 007, which is what I've set this up to. So I don't think it's going to be brilliant, but it's going to be good enough for what I need. I've actually changed the pellets from 10.3 grains to 8.4 grains, a little bit flatter trajectory. This was just trying it out with a night vision and you can actually see the dot a little bit clearer. Just rushing through this really, just, just showing you really how you can range find using the laser. You're no good on birds and things because lasers actually scare birds away. This was a couple of squirrels I shot in my garden a few days ago. I do love this HW97. Very accurate rifle, a spring powered rifle. He's only about 20 meters. The smoke coming up there is actually a puff ball. This was another one. Pretty much the same place, right between the eyes on that one. This was a little bit of rat and I did a couple of weeks ago. Pretty damn poor night really, only saw five rats all night, not really a lot to shoot at there, just just managed to get in behind its eye. I didn't retrieve that one because it didn't fall from underneath the galvanise. Another one here again, just enough to shoot at. About a quarter of a mil to hold over here. Again, just behind the eye. I expected it to fall out of there, but it didn't. So you can see it um, kicking around a little bit. Just having a bit of a dicky fit in behind there. There's another one, pretty much in the same place, just a few meters down. Again, not a lot to shoot at, but just managed to get in behind its eye. Bit a bit of helicopter tail going on on that one. Didn't 
retrieve any of them. And this was the, the last one I shot, the fourth one, and the fifth one's here to the side, but he buggered off as soon as I shot this one. This one was 32 metres, about 35 yards. Can I see if there's anything else? Bit of a slow motion on this one. Just in behind the eye, below the ear. Killed him over stone dead. Right, this is where I changed my pellets. Like I said, I was on 10.3 grains. Changed to 8.4 for the flatter trajectory. This is just zeroed at 30 metres. I was actually shooting this, just resting on my knee. Did manage to pull one though. I said a lot flatter trajectory so using that rangefinder with the laser or the laser as a rangefinder I should say should be pretty good so next week I've got a couple of farms to shoot both opposite each other one farmer's already foaming he said he's got a few rats there well thank you for watching hopefully the next one will be a good rat shoot